Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and thank you for rejoining me here back in Old World Blues. We've got a couple of comments to go through, a couple of events. So, the Shop Talk Payment Request. Hello, I'm going to need you to dedicate a certain percentage of your nation's scientific resources into ensuring that I am kept fully operational. After all, I can do so much more for you than those silly halo tapes or hollow tapes and the Old World Tech. I can do so much. Please dispense the payment as required. Oh, uh, no, we start off... Oh, no, don't lose it. No. We have one day left for the for the research. No, no, please, no. Please, no. Let's let that, and we pursue. If you want to read about pursuit, go right ahead. But we, it's worth saving. We were pursuing the enemies, and we've got manpower, stability, and some caps. So, oh my goodness. If we lose the research slot, will we not be able to do advanced tools? Urgh, or complete it? I mean, last time we struggled quite a bit with, what was it? The Ironmongers, the Unity of Austin, and Santa Ana, which Petro Chico was involved with. Uh, it was recommended that one, a few of the comments from yesterday said we should probably release the Republic of the Rio Grande, which I will actually do now, just because it ha it'll be good to have him as a puppet, first of all. But we're going to take all of Texas, uh, at least in my opinion. We're going to take all of Texas. They don't deserve it. Now, for the scope of this campaign, I don't think we'll do a full West End Conquest, just because at the time of this recording, I've done quite a few voice on conquest already in Oral Blues, and I kind of want to do that right now. Well, I'll play as Ironmongers eventually, I'll play as Unity of Austin eventually, in which we will do, like, at least one of those campaigns, a full voice on conquest, but I think for now, I think it's best to do, like, what we have set up. We can get meddled or meddle in the affairs of Mexico for a little bit, and that's totally fine with me, especially if we can take out Imperial Mexicano, who I believe will probably try to event eventually try to fight the Republic of the Rio Grande, so. Please don't kill me off or hurt us too badly, let's see, yeah, hmm. Claims all of Mexico, so we'll eventually have to fight them, help our allies out. But, you know what, actually, with the Republic of the Rio Grande, they have 16,000 manpower. Obviously no divisions, but that's totally fine for us. And we only have 12,000 and a half, and let's see what happens if we lose this. Okay, so we didn't lose it. Now we can lose it. Goodbye, I didn't need that research slot. Didn't even need it, right? Didn't even need it. Cool, so I wonder when, like, the event's going to happen... Because we're doing Ethos of the Army, we're going to get a lot of political power <clears throat> when we finish up the actual Calyx event. So, that would be interesting kind of, let's see what is going to happen. Dreams of Unity would be pretty cool. Mysteries of the Spores would be pretty cool, as well as Ancient Techniques of the Iron Mongers. But we'll wait and see what happens. We'll definitely wait and see. Currently get 1.1 political power, as you can... Ooh. Well, that's new. Um, the Provisional Republic of Texas is now here. Uh, we saw that the Lone Star was here, as well as Washington, Washington Brotherhood. No, the... Texan Brotherhood also existed, but we're, we're looking pretty good, yeah. I mean, we discovered yesterday that the organization isn't really great here, but I guess we've raised it up a little bit more. Anti-tank support gives you plus 15. The final transaction request. Oh, look at that. Average base is 39.6. But regardless, yeah. Organization for these guys, not great. But the final request. Hello, I would like to inform you that your purchase is ready. Please come with me to the secret vault. Bring your friends, they will be necessary. I am busy right now. We refuse our offer. I've been waiting a long time for this. We go to the secret vault with the Calyx, bringing along the entirety of our mutant army, as asked. Oh boy, what's going to happen? Actually, I know what's going to happen. The final purchase. Shield's army was escorted into the depths of the secret vault by robotic stewards. Guided along through Calyx's protocols, there Shea will be shown the full depth of Calyx's plan. Calyx had gathered up the rem remnants of Addis's failed mutant biomass into large tanks. She says if it were to throw biomass into it, that would, it would cause the cells to cannibalize the flesh and potentially cause it to regrow. It would require a bit of cells to do so, however. You must be able to think that I would want this. We lose stability, Lois get some infrastructure hits, and Calyx is dismantled, destroying her permanently, or... You say that this can bring Addis back? Go along with the plan to use bio, mutant biomass to try to facilitate the regrowth of Addis's biomutant cells. We get the final purchase. We lose weekly manpower minus 50. Division recovery goes down by 25%. Weekly stability goes down by 1%. Weekly war support goes down by another 1%. We lose division, attack, and 25 factory output for 100 days. We've got to do it. Shale, you're still here, but time to take a little dip in the vat. But as we said in the last episode, we're going to go with strength and unity because we have no stability, or very, very little stability. The master teaching will carry us forward. We should not forget what he taught us, the one that brought us into this world in the first place. That is our gift from him. Let us cherish it. So a couple of comments from yesterday. Let's see. We should unify Mexico. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure. Maybe, 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 maybe not. Oh, in the meantime, let's go and train our soldiers if we need to. Release the Republic of the Rio Grande as a puppet, which we've already done, which is great. That's a lot of political power, not going to lie. Uh, we can do that. Basic hygiene. Uh, sure, to help mitigate the effects of lowering our stability for now. Let's see, and finish... Off, and we are basically finishing what the Master started. Pretty much. That'd be great. 
We can spend some money. How much money do we have? Industrial fertilizer. Oh, that's a lot of money. Let's go and do that. Nice. Anything else around here? And even though we lost a research slot, it's not really that bad. Seeing as there's not really much else that we, you, we can do here, like, in terms of research. So, could be a lot worse. So, the nation declared war on Broken Coast. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and try to grab some triplane attackers. Uh, so, some people left comments yesterday talking about, the, like, the land doctrine. That maybe instead of having this, this is the only one that we can do. It might be cool if we could have done at least specialized warfare or at least get another land doctrine because we could really use a boost organization. Oof. But that's okay. What is, is. It is what it is. And eh, go do that and do that. There you go. Okay, well, folk, hopefully we can actually go to war with these guys and do fairly okay against them. We do have all the divisions lined up around here, but we'll see what happens. In any case, get some air bases around here. And honestly, we're probably going to need some forts. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, cool, cool. Boom, boom, boom. And I doubt we'll need really forts around here, but we'll see what happens, you know. Very, very good. Very, very, very good. And Lubbock, they might eventually fall to Lone Star, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to save my political power up for now, just to see what happens. And it was recommended we don't take any of these until we finish off the Calyx event, so I'm going to wait first and see what happens. So let's just take a lot more political power for now. I mean, that's totally fine. 2.21 a day is pretty good. So, And just so that we can wait and see what happens when we have the final purchase. In the meantime, hmm, Imperial Mexicano, how strong are you guys? 100,000 divisions. Oh, they have up to 75. That might worth might be worth taking out right now. How, how long would we have to wait? 90 days. It might be worth taking them out now because they will go, eventually go to war with the Republic of the Rio Grande, anyways. So, and Zapata probably will get claims on all of Mexico as well. It's been a while since I played Zapata. But I have played as them. Yep, they get claims on all of Mexico, so eventually we've got to fight them, so... We do it now, that might be very, very good. I When I play as a provisional Republic of Texas, they're, all, they're still about uh, Chobang. Do they get claims on all of Texas? I forget. It's been a... It actually hasn't been that long since I played as Texas, since I've... Since I played as them, yeah. Oh, so they, we will go to war with them eventually. Ooh, when they do go to war with us, when does that be... That'd be okay. Let's see. Do we have any other things we throw in here? Monstrous plants would be nice. Support equipment is looking not bad. Would we have enough? Yes, we, we would barely have enough. But that does help you with a little slightly more organization. Like, barely, like, none at all. Slightly lower is that stuff, but overall I think it would be worth it. Slightly even more defense. Demo teams? Oh, request capacity production? That's fine. We can build more factories. That's fine. Demo teams? We should have enough for this too, right? It actually hurts our organization, but does give us a little bit more defense. Quite a bit more soft attack, so... Fine, whatever. Hello, oh boy. And remove another civilian workshop, so be it. Alright, how many more do we need of these things? Doon, doon, doon. Three at a time, maybe? How many more do we need? I didn't even read how much we needed. Oh, we need three more. So we'll be fine. We'll be more than fine. Actually, we could really use those factories. Because we need them down here. Oh boy. Uh, let's go down to ten. Let's go, guys, go down there. That'll be not too bad then. We need to get some more of this. We need some more light machine guns. Yeah, we're still lacking quite a few things here. What are we missing? Anything else? No, that's good. All right, it's August 3rd, so we've got about one more month before we see what happens. What well, could happen? So really, my goal is to take out all of Texas. That's really my goal in this campaign, I think. That's a good goal. I don't want to, like I said earlier, full wasteland conquest. That's going to be a nice goal. All of Texas under. And I guess technically parts of Louisiana, too, since, well, we're kind of already facing them there like that. And Pecos Colony. We've got to go to war with Pecos Colony, too. And that's totally cool with me. Save the political power up. Uh, intelligence stuff? Sneaky dudes? Uh, we could do that. Sure, why not? We'll create an agency. We've got the money for it, so we might as well, right? Good, good, good. Building a lot of factories, actually. That's very good. <laughs> Forceful mutations. Actually, did we get the Justify War Goal this time? No, we did not. Oh. Oh, do we not? Oh, yeah, we did. He's up here. That's what. Yeah. I was looking in the wrong place. Scavengers found something great. Lockreed schematics. Cool. Lockreed. Oh, they declare war. Oh, they declare war on Lubbock. Okay. Lockreed. So, actually, that's not bad. That's actually very usable. Let's go grab that person since we can't use power armor. Lockreed is actually really good to get. That's really, really good. So, the purchase status update. Hello, I'm pleased to report the biomass growth is exceptional. The amount of added biomass we have on hand is nearly increased tenfold. We just have one small hiccup. 
It seems that the cells are currently cannibalizing each other right now. When Addis died, his mind was in a great deal of pain. His physical memory still exists within a replicating sample of cells we have, as in. His body is in constant, unending pain akin to that of the nuclear explosion that killed him. We will need a new mind in order to get him out of this self-destructive pain loop he is in right now, if only so that cells can receive a new synapse response and stop cannibalizing themselves. From my research, I've concluded that your mind is the only mind that can fit this role. Your familiarity with Addis will mean that his cells will know whom you are, somewhere in their deep flesh memory. If you wish to complete your purchase, you need to surrender yourself to Addis. Do not worry, I will integrate myself as well, partly to ensure that there was a decent amount of chemical and bodily synthesis, and that your two minds will be able to work as one. I would never do such a thing. We lose 50% stability, infrastructure takes the damage, and destroy it permanently, or I will be reborn. The ultimate sacrifice. Now, would you look at that? That is... I apologize if, if this is a little too crazy, so c cover your hand if you don't want to see the, the ultimate sacrifice. And so the soldier accepted their fate. Their mind was split from their body and brought into the collective. We, that lingered within the building vat that contained the cells of the man that he used to respect. And yet, it wasn't just him. There were other thoughts here as well. Some scared, some confused, some worried. So many voices. Shiel's voice became one of infinite of an infinite chorus. The minds of Calyx had given to the vats, adding to their graded collective. They could tell it was close to full revival, to bring about the perfect unity and spread themselves across the voice line. It was Calyx's integration that finally allowed them to leave the vault. A large network of wires embedded within itself, within the collective flesh, as to help serve as a skeleton from which the entity could focus itself and attach to, to become more than just a pool of flesh. We are Cerberus. Calyx, Shale, and the remnants of Addis's cells emerged together into a titanic, unstoppable monstrosity. And we'll take a look at that, and we get Alex's cunning, Addis's aggression, and Shell's savagery. We get add modifier, ever growing form. Moose capital Los is now core. Oh, other states are no longer a core of Severus's army. Hey, we change our colors too. We're no longer Shell's army. Now, this is disgusting. So we got more research speed, less resistance target, plus 50% daily, daily political power gain, plus 0.5% compliance. 15% more so division attack, plus 15% special forces capacity multiplier, which we don't even have special forces, so that's actually really cool. So now that that's been done, Calyx is g gone, right? Because now we have not Yep, Calyx is gone because she merged with us, which... It must be weird merging with another... with a woman, but whatever. Uh, cool. Bruiser, don't mind if we do. And we're gonna grab... probably rooted for you which is fine with me and let's go ahead and core these areas dreams of unity why not the dreams of unity keith was a decent man wishing to uphold the true beliefs of the children of the cathedral there is some truth to what the master said let us ensure what that his words are not forgotten and at this point i'm going to go ahead and tell everyone to get rid of where you're currently at and it's time to go to war with these folks down here so that when we actually do have to go to war with the people up to our north east we will be ready fully ready now, actually, I'm going to build up infrastructure here so that we don't have too many problems. We are Cerberus. Beautiful. Good. Oh, and actually, since we do want to complete this, get at least two lines going at all times on that. That'd be fine. And fuel injection. Don't mind if we do. We're no longer advanced. Oh, well, I guess we technically were never advanced, so that doesn't even matter. But what areas do we not have cord? Pure folks are gone. Monoplane detectors. Don't mind if we do. Triplane stuff here is pretty good. Go down by five. There you go. Yeah, that's not bad. Anything else? Nope. A few planes here and there will be very bueno. Do we have any extra spare planes? Maybe, maybe not. Not really, no. We'll, we'll save whatever we got for now. Sneaky dudes. Former department. Thank you. So let's take a look. So since we're about to go to war with those guys anyways... Oops, my bad. So. We have Los... Actually, Core, which is really awesome, actually. We have so much of this not cored at all, but we get more compliance every single day, which is awesome. Dreams of Unity. All about mysteries of the spores. Sometimes I can hear Reese whispering to me in the Forest of Eden. I try not to think about it, but it can be heard or hard to get out of your head. Those mysteries or riddles he tells you will be something we carry with us. We get a thousand more manpower. Wow. How delightful. Jean Shades falls ill. And look at that 0%, 0%, 0%, 0%. And we cored Unity of Austin, so we got. Not bad, even better. Even more. Nice. One and a half political power day. Not bad. We could core some territory right now. Uh, we don't get any more weekly stability, though, which kind of sucks. But whatever. Expand the rough draft. That's sometimes not really that good to do. Alright, well, there we go. Can we actually win against these guys? I'm not sure if we can or not, so we're going to try it. Now, obviously, in the last episode, we discovered we are really, truly not that strong. So, oh. Oh, we call them in, and then 72 versus 76. I mean, they're not attacking us yet, so. 
See what happens. See what happens. Maybe we can do well. Maybe we can't. Maybe we can do very well. Now, this is probably not going to go very well for us. But we're winning in some places and we're losing in some places. But the faster we take them out, the better. You know, we're going to do the same thing with this group here, too. I'm not going to risk any chances. Alright, let's see. Occupied territories. Ooh, resistance is going up here. Oh, well, let's core all the areas first, and then we'll figure out what areas we're actually going to core for realsies. Lost 400, they've lost 200, so be it. The compliance here, actually, we're not going to get that much compliance anyways. You, you, piece, you, you guys are pieces of garbage. No. No. I have a good feeling. You you guys would be able to tell. I can't tell right now whether or not this is the final episode or not. I have a good feeling it is. But as you can tell from the title, potentially, this might be the final episode of the campaign. Since we just have to conquer a few other people. And we'll get rid of enemies that need to be gotten rid of. Yeah, we're going to be losing more men than the enemies probably, but whatever. That's a necessary evil. Never mind, maybe. Yeah, never mind. Very good. So far, not too bad, actually. Any upgrades? Yes, there are some upgrades. Awareness. Well, we are using recon, so we might as well do that. Get even more recon. Maximize that stuff. Bloody mess. Mm, we could do that, but I really don't want to lose any more defense. Mysteries of the Spores? Great! 22,000 and the ancient techniques of the Ironmongers. The Ironmongers have become true masters of the Forge, taking Addis' order to them to secure the factories to the south for far too literally. The strength they have learned and their forges will be used to push our tanks forward. Do we even, we don't even have tanks? Let's maximize this, and then continue maximizing some other stuff too. That'd be good. Oh, we can actually upgrade something, huh? Can we upgrade this? No, we cannot. It's probably talking about Monterey again, because that's usually that's the one that usually glitches up or something. Better radar? Have, have the bestest radar. Yeah, you guys are actually doing fairly okay now that we've forced you to do better. Anything else? Night person? I guess. That's not bad, I guess. 474122. Two. It's unfortunate that we lost Calix, but you know what? She's still with us. She's always going to be a part of us. How much strength do they have left? The longer we wait, the stronger they become, so that's why we got to take them out now. We've cut off a lot of their divisions, which is awesome. Where's their capital? Oh, it's a great silo. And Tla Luxlair's dough down there. That's fine. So be it. And we're just, I'm probably just going to give all this territory to these guys over here. And we're still making more divisions, which is nice. Good. Beat them up. We've lost about a thousand, but that makes sense. Very good. Very, very, very good. There you go, Imperial Mexico. Ooh. Wow. It's going to take just a little bit of time for us to get this territory over to the, our little puppet. And 39. That's good. There you go. Now, yeah, I don't really want to get involved in Mexico too much, but we got to do what we got to do in certain areas. Let's make sure we do that too. Do we, do we get enough stuff here? Heaven's Gate anointed. Cool. Have we done it? I think we did. I don't see it around here. So we must have made enough military factories. That's fine. Economic precisions. Great news. Great, great, great. Ancient techniques of the Ironmongers. Nice. And the Road of Conquest. It's time to test ourselves against the best Texas has to offer. This is where we show ourselves to be the true heirs of Addis' legacy or die trying. Ooh, for Lone Stars, Texan Brotherhood, as well as the Provisional Republic of Texas core territories, every Texas state we get a claim on. Nice. Not sure why it keeps showing me this, but whatever. Alrighty, then. Monoplane attackers, don't mind if we do. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get some more defense. Sometimes I choose... I normally choose... I like to choose offense. But, eh. It can wait sometimes. Alright, so. We've cored everything that we can. For the most part. So, this is where we can have core stuff and non-core stuff. Do we want to core this piece of territory? Or drop tanks? Or this piece? I want to core this piece. Because it technically has one less factory, but it's a lot more population. Thank you, TAA Estate. And nothing else really there. Let's go to get some more ground support. That'd be pretty good, right? Pretty good. 80. And we only have 80 factories, even though we've, we're pretty much a major nation at this point. We only have 80 factories, which is okay. Not great, but okay. 48% stability. Not great, but, you know, whatever. Promise of loot. At least we, get, we do get coring reduction, right, with this stuff. That's why it's 270, not 300. Which is okay. Which is definitely okay. Here, we should probably do okay against these guys as well. Worker Militias, they have 3,000 manpower, which is not much. They have actually less divisions than the Imperial Mexicano, and these guys have prop These guys will be fairly difficult to take out. Oh! Wait. The Enclave died. Oh, wait. Which... Uh, which hold on. Oh, no, no. They declared war on them. Okay, the Enclave is New Reno. Okay. 
I remember playing as Governor Archdonan with New Arena before. I think maybe once or twice, actually, because they have a unique focus tree with the sub mod if you really want to use the sub mod. Sub mod's pretty good, too, so. Road to Conquest, great. Keep their own divisions over here, and we will go to war. Do we have an expiration on these dates? No, we do not, which is a good thing. Expiration for technology. Find a leader for the party. Go right ahead. That's fine with me. Doesn't really matter. And how much longer must we wait? Oh, this guy just found something. Hey, General Tonks. We're finding a lot of these uh, companies here. That's really cool. But we can't use robots, so whatever. That's fine. It's fine. I swear, it's fine. We gotta get some of this. Unfortunate. There we go. Nice. Have you guys going right there? And then we can start just to find you guys too. Because we're going to go to war immediately. Because these guys are probably the easier group to take out. Does anyone want to try to attack? Oh, hold on. Let's not attack first. And call everyone in. There we go. Do they attack us? No? Oh, they should. They really should. Now, like the last time, we're not going to probably win everywhere, but it looks like we are, actually. Nice. It helps if you do have some air superiority. It really does. Especially when you have such not high organization. It's not low. It's just not high. Yeah, 44.4. That's that's better than before. That's definitely better than before. Because I thought it was like 35 in total that we saw yesterday. So, yeah, over here it's 38. That's just not bueno, man. That's just not bueno. But whatever. Get more planes. Definitely, definitely a lot more planes. Hey, we actually made an encirclement. Wow. Great. Good job, guys. After that, then these guys. And then we'll take out pretty much everyone else in Texas. Which would be good. Including the Mont. Wartime administration, add. You can try that. If you want to read about this one, go right ahead. Ooh, we get enough political power. Let's get some more war support. War support's always not, it's not always easy to get. And we're lowering their autonomy anyways. That doesn't really matter too much. Aids declare war. Aids are going crazy right now. They're trying to fight the Enclave as well as the Yakuza territories. That's a bit nuts, guys. Just don't make a terrible peace deal out of this. Wow, this Silex nation is doing really well as well. So you tell me Camo decided to attack Broken Coast or something like that, and then Silix, Silix, Silix decided to attack them as well. Okay, well, whatever. Cool. And how much would it cost for this? Way too much for some unknown reason. Cool. So we two. Right, I apologize for the clicking. Click, 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 click. Yeah, I should really be focusing on America. On America. Well, yeah, technically America. But I should be focusing more on Texas than Mexico. But we love Mexico, right? We love Mexico. Part standardization. Very, very good. And make sure we got enough infrastructure for our soldiers down here as well. Um, we're trying to build these guys up quite a bit. So I hope they appreciate us and what we're doing. Hopefully we're not ruining their manpower. Oh, they got enough. Twelve divisions these guys have. Mexico's greatest failure. Are you talking about Santa Ana? Okay, Lanius. Okay, we'll go right ahead. Oh, they're gonna go to war maybe with Petro Chico then. Uh, I wouldn't be necessarily against that. Well, okay. I mean, if they want to kill each other off, that's fine with me. Now, I kind of hope the Provisional Republic of Texas wins, so that this way we can also get all of this territory up here too. So, if in any case things don't go according to our plans, I'll probably go to war with Lanius's cohort as well. Just because if these guys start losing, that would not be very good for us. If they're... Oh my goodness, guys. Actually, if you can do this quickly enough, that's actually not too bad. And then you can throw your other divisions on the front. I kind of don't like where our capital is located right now, though. It's not very good. Really not good. Really, really not bueno. Alright, so how much longer do we have with these guys? Because we're still making more divisions. we got about a month... Uh, we can probably train a little bit. Why not? Anyone else have upgrades? People have been fighting very hard around here. Hey, we can get core more stuff. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Actually, instead, we could do this and get faster just by Wurgle's times. Um. Excuse me. No. Oh, we could return disputed to... Over your dead body? Who? I've been giving you stuff all this entire time. You go to war with me, I will crush every single one of you very, 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 very violently. I'm giving you more territory, guys. Oh, that's not good. Ultimatum deadline. How dare you send me an ultimatum? Go to war with me and watch what happens. Did 
they better not be able to go to war with me. That is god awful. Come on, man. Oh, how do I have Mild Larks? Yeah, we could get more. That's actually the only minus 5% research speed. That's not bad. Let's do that. We could use more stability. Send us some manual prospectors. Focus on the internal sphere. Cool. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Now, they got a lot of divisions, but so do we. But well, that's not too bad. And they're suffering a little bit from attrition, too, which is pretty good for us, too. The Calamac, they have a lot of divisions, but so do we. And we have, we're actually pretty equally matched, huh? Hopefully we can do okay, though. All right, well, we'll see what happens. And... You can't go to war with me if we do something like this, right? And they're not attacking. If you're wondering about this, go right ahead. Uh, I want more political power this time. So, let's core something else. Such as that. Ah, let's go ahead and core San Antonio. Let's core the actual Alamo. That'd be good. There we go. So, if we want to attack, you guys start right there. We could try to encircle it, but now we good. Crush them there. There we go. Hopefully, we can do pretty well. Very nice. If I, if we were to actually try a general attack, that probably wouldn't go very well for us. So. Uh, yes, it go right there. Let's go right there. If we could, I'd like to do this. Actually, send all you guys right here, all but one. There you go. Just so we can cut them off at this little choke point. That would do really poorly. That would be disastrous for them, actually. These guys would all be cut off. Oh, that's so good. We could try another center, just a general attack. Hmm. Cycling, not bad. Come on. Good. And go and do that. So these guys are all died. Total Lux there will be very good. And we're actually taking... Doing, we did, we're doing really well on Leon. Love it. Yeah, they actually have a few gliders themselves, huh? Yeah, but look at all these divisions. They're all going to die. That's like at least 30 divisions there, so... Oh. Oh, boy. Rocket launchers, don't mind if we do. Some HMGs, don't mind if we do. Very nice. Actually, hold on. I did throw LMGs on there. That's good. That's good stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, let's see, 2,000. They have up to 63 divisions max. Not bad, not bad. They're all going to die, though, obviously, so... Clear looks there, and it's gone. Now they're down to 35 divisions max. Thumbs up for me, man. Thumbs up for me. Direct ground support. It's so much easier when you have Cerberus as your leader. So much easier. I'm going to go ahead and grab Dum Dums. We lose political power, but we mm, it's not really worth it, I guess. Yeah. A max of 2% more organization really isn't worth it that much. Um, we lose recruitable population factor, get more recovery rate and more organization. Why not? Keep going, guys. We've taken out the capital twice. They should capitulate soon. Because after that, I'm going to go to war with Pecos Colony. Since, oh, maybe not. We have to get involved. That is not good. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Go, 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 go. Actually, you go right there. Cut them all off if you can. Okay, XO to clear. We're on the white legs. Well, good luck with that, guys. Good luck. Come on. Ace pilot promoted. Very good. Nice. Four more divisions have earned circled. And we've got them. Nice. Now, Republic of the Rio Grande, please reassess your options and do not go to war with someone who's literally giving you pretty much every single Mexican territory piece so far. They'd be a fool to go to war with us. But then again, they were conquered before, so I guess they were not very smart beforehand. Alright, so with all this, oh my goodness, that's a lot of enemies. So how many waterways do we have with Lionese's Legion? It looks like we've got at least one, two, three, four so far. If that's the case, I'm going to send half you guys, really, actually we're going to send six, because you guys are going to go over here, dum-dum, I'm sorry you're the dum-dum, but there's a reason why you're called the dum-dum-dum-dum, very good, two, three, well, we're not doing this to help out the Texan, or Provisional Republic of Texas, we're doing this to make sure that we get the Provisional Republic of Texas, if they capitulate, if Lanius does capitulate these guys, so be it, doesn't matter to me, but that just means we get their territory anyway, so... And come down here just in case. This is a preliminary measure. And I'll grab another guy. Rocket Four Eyes. Rocket Four Eyes. That's a unique name. I do say so myself. Quite unique. Hey, look, Lanius. We don't like you and your kind, but Iron Mercenaries. Oh, we have more divisions than them. They have no manpower. Okay. Huh. Now, we can't really afford to go to war with 
the Provisional Republic of Texas, Texas at the same time, but... Hey, if they want to do... The, oh, hello. They have more divisions, though. Let's see what happens. Spearmen for services for their army. Not bad, not bad. Greetings, Earth Monkeys. I don't want to be probed. Well, I'll tell you where to stick it. But that can't say that in a video. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I do want Savage Leader, so let's go Rooted first. If we have enough command power eventually, so. That'd be fine. Give us some time. Sky Reavers. Someone actually did say I should play as the Sky Reavers. I actually have once already. I could play as them again sometime, but not the 80s. I, I don't know. It's just kind of like a running joke in my head. Like, I'm never going to play as the 80s. Never. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, man. they got a lot of allies. But we'll see what happens around here. Especially if we have uh, enough radar, maybe? You know what? Just in case, if we're feeling not too secure about this, or maybe I'm not feeling too secure about this, we can do this. Boom, 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 boom. At least level 1 forts all around the place. That might give us some more confidence about that. Especially as we watch them try to take out the rest of Texas, which they're doing fairly okay at. Over the waterways, they shouldn't be able to break us. Around here, they shouldn't also be able to break us, but then again, we are using super mutants. And super mutants have been known to not be super reliable. What are you guys doing? Can we duplicate you guys? And go right there if you can. Thank you. Can we duplicate you again, maybe? So everyone gets at least some sort of planes, right? Ah, oh, the heck with it. Let's go and go to war. Now, they're going to attack us immediately, which is fine. Looks like we're doing pretty darn well. And this will help the, st the attack stopping attack around here. We will give them, like, love and stuff, but since we are, like, going to probably be doing most of this, and since they have no extra manpower, we might as well just push out now, right? Ah, oh, we had to fight Cult of Diana, too. That sucks. But whatever. They've only up to 18 divisions max. We have more divisions than them. I'm not too worried about it. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. All right. For you, rooted. Yeah, this is not going to be too bad of a war. They've lost 4,000. Really, 5,000. Wow. We've killed off 2,000. They've killed off 6,000. They've lost a lot of guys. This shouldn't be too bad. Despite our stuff. Ooh. Contact loss. Let's make sure that we actually try to find the contact. Send a rescue team immediately. Clamp down on autonomy. We found the expedition. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. New citizens care package. You might as well. Eight. Great. Heavy machine guns. That's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't care. Hopefully the Provisional Republic of Texas does not think of us as their savior because, well, we're, we're headed... No one is going to be able to save them. And that will be a good thing. Even more anti-tank hardness and stuff like that is good. Any other upgrades around here? No, no, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Dum dum. Savage leader, don't mind if we do. Oh, wait, that's dum dum. Oh, maybe Rocket Four Eyes here. You become. There you go. That's a little better. Now you got Savage Leader going on there. That's good. These guys have been cut off, so that's awesome. Big ol' united front, that's great. Get up to Twin Mothers. Go ahead. And we should have them dead soon enough. They have 51 divisions max, 50 divisions max, not too bad. And the Republic of the Rio Grande's looking pretty tall and mighty. Tall and mighty. Very good. Very, very good. Any way that we can get more stability, maybe? Militarized society, nah. Mobilize people, nah. No, we don't need that. Political actions, we can maybe do that. War measures, probably not either. Trader Troves, skills and training payoff. Hey, look at that, not bad. Actually, do we have any decisions around here? What is this? Demand rifle territories, we'll do that soon enough. Soon enough. Gonna only have 2.38 every day, not too bad. Ooh, that's gonna be an open hole. Once we finish this area down here, though, it won't be too bad. This is probably where most of their army's at, actually. Well, a good chunk of other people's armies, too. Not bad. They have up to 41 divisions. 14,000 losses. Nice. They've only done 50%, so they get, they get Lubbock. That's it. Come on, guys. Don't worry about their territory. Just, like, come up here. Seriously, just kill them off. Good. Now, I know that there's an open hole here, which I don't like, but if we can keep pushing through here quickly enough, we'll do okay. 
Fort Summers. Genta. Oh, hello. Genta's having a problem. Genta versus Genta. Why are there two Gentas? Led by Generalissimo and then led by Sun Eater. Oh, okay. Well, good luck, guys. Hey, guys. Did you kill these guys off yet? Come on. Don't be like the Provisional Texas. Uh, Republic of Texas. They take forever getting stuff done. There you go. Now you guys come over here and put these guys to rest. Nice. Oh, wait, you can also do that one. Oh. Well, there's no point in doing that since you're the general now up here, so. Inspirational, rooted, savage leader. If that's the case, you're going to have Nerd Rage. Because I'm not going to make him a field marshal, so it doesn't even matter. Alright, air superiority. Very good, very good. Alright, so there's too many holes here now that we got to really address this. So instead of this, you... Go up to there. That'd be good. You come here and go down here and help out too. Boom, boom, boom. You come here as well because you're the smallest third group. Boom, 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 boom. And then the rest of you guys can just come over here. There you go. Very good. Keep going. Um, yeah, I probably just go actually take this territory, maybe. Oh, we make the state of Texas. That wouldn't be bad. This would be kind of ugly if we took all of this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just take all of it. I don't think I'm going to actually make the state of Colorado and stuff like that. Just because then we have to form the state of Nevada, or not Nevada, uh, New Mexico, and then Louisiana. I'm like, nah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll do okay. Oh, you guys are done? No, I don't think you're all done yet. Keep going, keep going. They have four... Jesus Christ, four divisions left. That's not bad. We've done 70% of the stuff. The Forgers, did they want stuff? Um, They can have part of this territory. You can have like, the Circle Junction. I want Diana under us, though. Cool, there goes Fiend. Send you Mano Prospectors. What else can we do down here? I wish I could just take some of this territory from them, but whatever. Uh, I actually want to core this territory. Why this one? Because then we can core this territory and get some actual bonuses to the defense when we actually fight the Provisional Republic of Texas. That is legal. Go and grab twin mothers if you can. They should capitulate very soon. Actually, they sh really should be able, or should be forced to capitulate soon. Hopefully, at least. Those guys died. Very good. Keep going, guys. Keep going. At least we no longer get any debuffs. It's unfortunate that we lost our um, research slot before Calyx was integrated into Cerberus. But you know what you're going to do about it. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you guys are over there. That's fine. Whatever. You guys are over here. Cooling jackets. Just let time go on. Grab some grenade rifles. Thank you. Very nice. Vital tar point targeting. And grab some auto injectors. Excuse me, guys. Y'all ain't done yet. You are up there. Screw it. This area is probably actually more important to focus on anyways. You guys all come down here. Whee! Get to the pass. Thank you. Very good. Go, 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 go. They have two divisions. Did we get... Oh, we did. Nice. We did get it. Temple Diana. Thank you. They should capitulate too, so... Troll War and Declare War on Klamath. Good luck, guys. Claim Jumpers. As someone did say before, or maybe recommend in the comment sections of another video, it'd be cool if we could, like, try to unify all super mutants under one group, or have, like, abilities to do so. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, well, Diana is gone. Lanius, you're next. Very good. Please just give me one moment as we watch and capitulate them. My apologies, but I will be right back. Alright, my apologies, but we're back anyways. The foragers want access? No, I think we'll be okay. I think we're good. Cool. And really not that many guys left. Come on. We've taken the capital, but they're still not... I don't know why they don't just give up. Like, seriously, this is not your... This cannot be a core. No. Come on. All right, so if that's the case, come over here. Uh, you guys finish this stuff up, and then basically we'll go to war with Pecos Colony? Yeah, Republic of the Rio Grande, you're not going to have that long against us. 30 days economic resurgence, that's good. House of Day, you're not going to get anything from this either. Um, excuse me, guys. 
I'm pretty sure all of you have orders to do this. Ah, oh, I see. There we go. Mission flying. Good. Got some of this. I'm not going to give the house a day anything. They don't deserve jack squat from us helping doing this, so. Go and lower their autonomy. That's good. Okay, seriously. How how long does it take? This no 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 no. This is a bit too much, a bit too extreme. To go all around New New Mexico and then uh, Colorado, that's a bit too much. That is a bit too much. That's got to be it, please. And I'm not gonna give these guys anything. None of it. They don't deserve it. They just. Oh, give them that. There you go. Oh, and that we're taking everything. Because these guys are just opportunists, and they don't deserve anything. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Oh, yeah, Cult of Diana, too. I guess that wasn't part of the peace deal, huh? Well, let's see. Cult of Diana. We can give you something called Junction Forgers. That's fine with me. You can have that. You can have, you can have that up, too. Other than that, I'll take this. You better not come over here. Mm, actually, they have a, that is a poor state. Uh, actually, mm, that might. Hold on, I'm looking at this for aesthetics. That's a little better. I think that looks a little better. Cool. Well, let's see. No, thank you. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see what happens. You guys, I can't really care too much at this point about doing this, but we'll try that. I'm not gonna liberate them either. Lanius needs to be taught a le lesson. Do that. Good, good, good. Alright. Uh, well, shnikes. Are you kidding me? You want to steal my territory. Wow. That is a bunch of crap. That is a bunch of crap. Are you kidding me? We literally just saved your skin, and now you're going to go to war with me? Oh, you can't trust these humans. Oh, my goodness. We're going to lose our capital right now. Rush, 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 rush. Get down there, get down there. You bunch of sons of guns. Investments, cut our losses, that's fine. Pick us colony. Well, I guess we're not going to go to war with them yet, then. Wait, why can't we record this? Wait, why we can't... Oh, maybe we have to record... No, hold on. Why can't we record this? Okay, we can't record that for some reason. That doesn't make any sense. This is cord, right? Fort Stockton is our... Is it... Oh, what the heck? Uh, maybe they uh, maybe they actually uncored areas of us before. I don't agree with, but whatever. But whatever. We got bigger fish to fry than think about right now. God, dang these people. We're gonna attack immediately. There's no stopping here. And for you guys, I'm actually gonna pull it back this way. Move, 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 move. Oh, I'm going to destroy this provisional republic. They pissed off the wrong group here. And I want you to force the attack. Force them back. Force them to, into submission. Grind them up. There's, I'm not taking prisoners. There will be no slaves from this from this push. Alright, economic resurgence. At this point, you guys are good, looking good enough. Come over here and kill every single one of these guys off. Absolutely no no peace. Death Claws ate our team. What the heck? We can't even send them to get Death Claws? That's not cool. Oh, man. That's not good. But I think we'll do okay. Cancel Lundleys. Go screw yourself, House of Day. You deserve nothing. All right, can we core something? Ozona? Well, I guess we got to core that, but isn't Los our capital? It's cored, so we should be able to core everything else around here, right? So, so it basically uncored stuff for us. What in the world? How? Why? Who designed that? Hmm. Big sadness. I would like to core that though. And core over here. So let's grab this one first. That is dumb. That is beyond stupid. Alright, at this point, I need you guys to actually focus down here, because they're flooding like animals into here. So that'll be good. Let them come in, because these guys will actually finish these guys off pretty darn nicely. They don't have that many divisions. They have less than us now, which is pretty good, but my goodness. Thirsty little Texans, aren't they? You guys should be able to push through fast enough up here. Come on. They don't have that. They can't have that much manpower. Okay, they have quite a bit of manpower, but not nearly as many divisions. Alright, next group. Come on out. New commander, Joe the Snake. 
Welcome aboard, Joe the Snake. There we go. We cut him off almost. You can force the attack. Kill every single one of these pieces of garbage off. I mean, for them, it was a smart thing for this, for them to do that. Like, attack when we are, like, have our armies elsewhere. That makes a lot of sense for them. But unfortunately, they weren't fast enough. And if it wasn't for us, they would have perished a long, long time ago. But hey, we don't have to justify them anymore. Let's see, last lodge, we got claims on them. We might as well justify them too, that'd be good. How long would this take? It, it really doesn't matter. Oh my, oh, never mind. That's that's way too long. That's an extreme amount of time. Go the Doggerinos. Cool. Come on, keep killing them. Keep killing them. They have 79 divisions left. We've lost 108. They've lost only 13,000. That's not enough. Preemptive intervention. Let's grab some of this. Guys, I gave you orders. How about you follow through? How about you do what you were instructed to do? Yep, no coming back. No, no, no. You wanted to go to war with us, so we're just going to return the favor here. Dean or... Of all nations. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, Navajo, please kill these guys off as fast as possible, because they could try to come out here, but... I don't think they're going to be able to make it as they're fighting the Legion, so... Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I, mean, I guess at this point we can demand... Our rifle territories. Who is that? Salida? Russian charging grounds. Uh, logistics, because we can. Zap war band, of course. Weather dogs are bye bye. Infamy. I don't think this is going to help. I don't think we're really considered infantry, but that's fine. Come on, keep going. It can't be that much longer. They have only 61 divisions left. Only 61 divisions. Huh. If that's the case, come here. Take this area out and then kill them all because they'll be completely encircled and be able to get destroyed. They took Brady. God dang it. But then again, they have no connection over here, which is good. And they're starving and dying over here, so. Come on, come on. Force them through. Die, die, die. No, that's good. We got that done. Uh, Chickasaw, I don't think we have claims on you. Y'all, let's, let's do this one. 80 days, that's much better than 110. Bayou Motors? Pathetic, that's what these people are. Pathetic. Who dares wins? Oh, they have actual power armor. Can we actually pierce their power armor? Yes, we can. Pathetic. Go, 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 go. Economic resurgence, great. Oh, are you guys done? Nah. Come on, uh, hang over here for now. See what happens. Just in case. Unfortunate. Oh, you guys are done? No, you, you ain't done yet. Keep going, keep going. You'll be fine. Good, good, good. Not bad. Just please don't get encircled. Oh, we almost did. Yeah, that stuff isn't really that impressive to get. Any upgrades? Any upgrades? You... There you go. Vincent Nuke. Rooted. We get maybe a upgrade for you later on. Nice. That's the lodge. Sack for war band. Shouldn't be too bad to take out. Shouldn't be. That's a lot of territory we own now. Pretty nice. Soon you take out Paco's colony. Hey, we did it. Nice. I, really, I, I don't want to be bothered with taking out Louisiana, so we're not going to do that, so there you go. Good job, guys. Nice, because that is all Louisiana, so... Alrighty, tidy. Let's see. You guys line up on the line and prepare to go pew-pew. You guys prepare to go on the line and go right there and go pew-pew. And then you guys do the best you can. You'll probably do okay without us. So go do that. You guys do that. And go pew 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 pew. Nice. The baggers, huh? What a bunch of baggers. Alrighty, tidy. Let's see. Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we're doing some of this stuff. That's fine. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Bayou Motors, Cerberus is Army. So we got these two, and then Pecos Colony to take out. Not bad. 
Last Lodge, Pecos Colony. Oh, wait. Do we, not, we don't have this guy done yet. Like about 40 days, that's not too bad. Uh, if that's the case... We can have you guys take these guys up first, maybe. 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 And half you guys actually come over here. And plug up that hole. Hey, not bad. If it works, it works, right? Cool. Cleared air zones, logistics, air superiority. Obviously, this is a kind of a longish episode, but this is pretty much going to be the last episode in the campaign. Because I think we've done very, very well. I guess Pegos Colony will actually be last. That's not bad. And get, do it in three, two, one. Shouldn't be too bad. They don't look seem that strong. They have seven divisions max, and while they probably have more organization than us, but seven divisions versus twenty-three. And these guys aren't too bad, especially with a lot more attack. That's not bad at all. Very good. Oh, let's grab some heavy melee weaponry. Forgot about that. Oh, okay. Okay, so what do we not have cord? Some of the stuff was uncored before, which is really dumb. Oof. 13,000, 16,000. I can core that one, that's fine. Especially for technology, sure, why not? You can have a gift. We got plenty of mo enough money. Come on, guys. Are you. Oh, that's not them. These guys. What the heck are you doing? Just take Vernon. Vernon. Vernon Riso. Very good, very good. That should be it, right? Guys, how about you move? Eh, it's alright. We can still gotta wait for these guys anyways. Last Lodgerino. Don't mind if we do. Cool. And we killed them off before we could go to war with these guys, I think, right? Armadillo. Amarillo. Eh, yeah, I was right. Cool. Three. Two. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Let's go ahead and go anyways. Nice. Very, very nice. You guys, let's go ahead and throw you down here. Pecos Scully might be a little bit difficult to take out, but we'll see what happens. Except for Warband, not too bad. How many divisions do they have, actually? Up to 20, not bad. Hey, there's Oklahoma, too. Not bad. But they don't have the Scrappers Compact, huh? Alright, cool. Any upgrades? No siree. And Sapphire Warband is gone. Thank you for playing, Sapphire Warband. Alright, you guys are going to be crashing down from the top. Or through the north. Government staff for schools, it's because it doesn't even matter at this point. Uh, we got some waterways. It might be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated to take out because we got so many divisions, but we're crashing through the through the north, so I'm not too worried about that. I am not gonna call my allies though, so I'm gonna really stack up right here. Cool. Expand the infrastructure just in case. Get some radar because you can. And grab some more air bases. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Three, two. I'm not even going to bother waiting any longer. Don't even call them in. Potential opponents. Yeah, no thanks. All right, so they have a total of 60 divisions, maybe. But so far, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Let's score one more piece of territory. Oh, wait. Our capital is now TAA Estate. That's weird. Not even Los. Well. Oh, well. Crystal City, thank you very much for playing. Very, very nice. Air damage. How we doing? Not bad. Not bad, I would say. Oh, wow. We cut these guys off. Oh, that's so sad. There's a lot of militia down here. Losses. Only 5,000. Can we get up to 7,000, maybe? 6,000? 6,200? Heavy melee weaponry. Right when we're about to end the campaign. Yep, we killed off 7,000. Not bad. Research doesn't really matter at this point, but we could try, I guess. Uh, go ahead and get that one. Let's go ahead and grab this one. And just do nothing but air doctrine stuff. Grab James Loose Cannon. Alright, Ter Ter Terlingo. Thank you for playing, but I guess that's going to be the campaign, my friends. This was a fun campaign. A little bit difficult. But I think we've done really, really well. We've taken part all of Texas, actually. All of Texas. We've liberated a good chunk of Mexico. We've liberated a, b a good chunk of New Mexico and parts of Colorado. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.